if you're selling courses and you've got people opting into your free stuff but not buying your paid courses and training, what's going on? I get this question a lot and usually it's because the person who's got the paid courses for sale literally isn't telling anyone that they have courses there for sale. It's amazing how many people work really hard to do all their marketing, build their email list, they're giving out these lead magnets, but then literally never ever tell that list that there is something that they can buy. So first thing I'd ask you if you're not selling your stuff is how often do you tell your list that there is something for them to buy? How often do you do that? Because my bet is probably not enough. Now, there's a couple of ways that I do this so I don't feel like I'm slamming my email. None of us just want to receive sales emails all the time. So there's a clever way that you can do this that is much more giving, much more service-based, much more supportive and helpful, but will make people more aware of the fact that you do have products and services that they can purchase. And this is what's called a welcome email sequence and an ongoing nurture sequence. A welcome email sequence is a bunch of emails that you write once, you then turn on the automation and every single person who joins your email list will go through that welcome sequence. So let me show you what that looks like. Basically, when somebody opts into your free thing, they are going to be added to your email database. Now your email database will then basically trigger off, so the trigger is what fires off this automation. The trigger is them opting into your list or filling in that opt-in form to your freebie. Then the system is going to send them an email that you have pre-written once, and that will usually be something very helpful that is highly related to the thing they've opted into. That first email is going to say, hi, first name, here's the thing you opted into. By the way, here's a tip I'd love to give you right off the bat before you even go into this free thing. Super helpful. Now at the bottom of that email, by the way, that first email from an opt-in will always have the highest open rates that you will get on any other email that you send out. It needs to have what I call a PS. A PS at the bottom. So you've got this really helpful email, you've delivered their free thing, and then at the bottom it will say PS first name. Here are three ways that I can help you get X result, whatever it is that you're a specialist in. So for example, I help people create online courses. When people opt in to like my free course creation starter kit, my email there says, here's your free course creation starter kit, PS first name, here are all of the ways that I can help you create a course. And in that you can list things like, for instance, if you've got a, an appointment booking system, such as in Techmatics, where they can book a paid call with you, a paid cons consult, a paid coaching program, Maybe you've got a course they can join, a free webinar coming up. Maybe you've got a coaching program, membership, whatever it might be. In that PS, you're basically listing down, here are all the ways I can help you and solve your problem. And you're linking to where they can book or pay for that particular service. But you've led with that helpful information. In an automation, you're then gonna go on and add more emails. So you might have a little, what's called a wait step that will say something like wait for seven days, then send the next email. And the next email will be another really helpful tip that you know that people in your industry or searching for solutions to the problem that you solve is going to give them all of the, the best answer you could possibly give in that next email. Guess what's then at the end of it? P.S. Here are all the ways that I can help you get this result. And you're just going to keep this automation going on and on and on. Come up with the top 25 tips that you could possibly give in your topic. Find what the top 25 questions people are asking are in your field. There's a number of tools you can use to do that, such as Answer the Public, ChatGPT, one of the most common questions people ask about your topic. And you're simply going to create and write 25 emails, for instance, in this example, where you're going to give that tip give the answer to the question in the email and then put that PS at the bottom of the email telling them how you can help them get that solution. Now, if you're doing this every single week and every time you answer a new question or produce a new piece of informational content, you just keep adding to this automation over time. This automation gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The longer lead time, sales time and opportunity to convert people you are creating on autopilot, because once you've written these once, <laughs> you just keep adding to it, this every single person who joins your list is gonna flow through this system, continue to see you, touch points, continue to be helped by you, service, 
and continue to be reminded of all of the ways that you can help them through your paid programs, products and services. Do not underestimate the power of this. Email marketing is certainly not dead. Spammy salesy marketing is, but helpful, informational, entertaining, real human communication via writing or embedding videos into these emails, which you can do in Techmatics, absolutely is not dead at all. So that is just one of many ways that you can make sure that your leads that are coming through into your free things are moving forward along a customer journey, being nurtured and continuously reminded of your paid products and services. Now, of course, there are many more ways to take people from your leads into becoming sales, but this one, if you get this set up, is gonna change the game entirely. If you wanna learn how to set this up and how to put these emails and put this tech together, come and check out my Legends Lab, where I take you through all of getting this content out your head, creating the right content, creating your courses, how to become a standout expert in your field, and how to do the tech that is gonna scale this system behind the scenes for you and bring in the highest possibility of you making sales and reaching a global audience as possible. I'll see you there.